This is the Bionic Zeebel 60 Mechanical Keyboard Unboxing, which I just got today. And, uh, well, so far I've had it set up and it's, it's a solid keyboard. I'll give you that much. And it's got pretty much everything a gamer would really want, honestly. Let's open the box. Uh, first thing you'll notice inside is that, well, as always, there's always a little booklet. It doesn't really tell you much, you know. Uh, I don't know, I think there's warranty in there. No idea, whatever. So the first thing I open is the actual keyboard. And uh, the first thing you'll notice is this keyboard is actually kind of heavy, I guess. It's heavier than the uh, the Logitech keyboard I have actually in the back of the video. <laughs> you'll see. That's actually what I was using before. And uh, yeah, the f besides the fact that it's a heavy keyboard, the wire and the cord is actually really thick and heavy as well. And it's kind of short. I think it's only about meter and a half actually I don't think it's in I'd say it's about a meter and it's pretty it's really thick so it could take up quite a bit of room in your cable management there's two uh, gold plated USB hubs and two three and a half uh, three point five millimeter jacks uh, it's for audio in audio out um, one of the USB ports are for plugs are for your backlight for your keyboard and the other one is for the onboard USB hub and uh, that's the really, really, really flimsy elbow rest plastic thing. It's, <laughs> I think that's the biggest disappointment of this keyboard actually. It's literally just a sheet of plastic. That thing is, you can probably break it with one hand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's nothing much else in the box besides there's actually a, um, I'm not sure what you call it. It's, it's a key remover, I guess, a key cap remover. Uh, yeah, it's convenient they give this to us because uh, otherwise you'd be using like a screwdriver or just prying it out yourself. Because uh, usually if you pop keys out manually with like a screwdriver, you probably ruin your keycaps. Uh, so yeah, it's very nice of them to include that. So after I plug stuff in, uh, the backlighting is very nice. I love the... Ooh, the view is kind of choppy. That's weird. Anyways. Uh, as you can see here, I'm demonstrating the uh, light settings. You can have it to low, medium, high, and you can change it so that it turn, you can turn all the lights off, you can turn WASD only, or you can have the whole keyboard lit up. And what used to be the Windows key on the left is, is the, I think it's called the Mionics, op, Mionics function key? Yeah. You hold it and you hit all of the F1 to F8 and F11 and 12. Uh, what they do is... They're essentially your dedicated, well, not dedicated, but they're your volume control. Um, there are no dedicated keys, actually. And uh, there's regular stuff, play, stop, forward, next. Uh, here, I'm actually trying to take off the uh, wrist rest, which is kind of hard. The first thing you'll notice is that it's actually really thin plastic. So I was actually afraid. I didn't bother trying again. I took it off once, <laughs> and then that was about as much as I tried. <laughs> I don't want to try it again, because you feel like it's gonna break. It's like really, really cheap plastic, which is really disappointing, but oh well. And uh, here I'm showing you where the ports are actually, the onboard USB hub ports. Uh, there's also the two jack holes for the 3.5 millimeter uh, jacks for your audio or for your microphone, I guess. And uh, all in all, I think this keyboard's pretty good. It's so far that I've used it, I've only used it for about like three hours. It's really nice, it's really, really responsive. Uh, it uses the black cherry MX keys, and I think they're supposed to be better than the blue ones, which is what the Razer keyboards used. All the Razer keyboards use uh, the blue ones. And as a user of the regular soft gel keyboards, you know, regular keyboards, I guess you can call them, uh, Mechanic, this is my first mechanical keyboard, and it's, it's nice. It's very responsive, but there's a few things I'm not used to, is that it actually takes a little more effort to push the keys. And you don't actually have to push the keys all the way down. About halfway, three quarters, um, your computer will spawn and it'll, it'll send the pulse. So you don't actually have to hit the keys all the way to the bottom. 